The game started with e4, c5, Sicilian defense, knight c3, knight c6, and boring opening theory. And here Stockfish play knight e2 undeveloping the knight. Chess.com bot strikes with b5 attacking the bishop, knight takes d4, c takes d4, and bishop b3. But here Stockfish play queen takes g7, very aggressive move. And after couple moves later, chess.com bot sacrifice. The rug! If king takes then knight g4 forking the king and the queen. So Stockfish plays knight g5. Chess.com bot kicked the queen away. The queen retreated to a3, but unfortunately the rook is trapped. So you have to sack the rook for a bishop, and the game continue. Queen trade? No. Queen h4 attacking the knight. Bishop e7 lining up a discover attack, but that's hang the pawn on h6. Another great move. Get the king to safety. Rook g1 and chess.com bot sacrificed. The knight! Bishop h2 trapping the rook, for whatever reason Stockfish played this disrespecting move, chess.com bot took the rook. d5 attacking the knight, so where the knight goes, I guess nowhere, because Stockfish here played a brilliant move, h6, chess.com bot plays h5, and another brilliant move by Stockfish, a4, chess.com bot try his luck with d4, but it's too late, the rook get to the 7th rank. Chess.com bot giving away his bishop. And Stockfish doesn't care and also giving his bishop. F takes e4. And Stockfish makes a queen. Nice. Oh my god, this is too much, not even taking the queen. And fortunately Stockfish knows how to checkmate with a queen and a rook. 